Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to take out the Osa Hobby AX8560 RC crawler. Um, it is a 118 scale and it looks quite promising. Um, I'm really looking forward to testing it. And here it is. If you look at the box, you can see it's ready to run. It has four wheel drive, 118 scale. Of course, it has a remote control. It comes in different colors red, orange, yellow, and we have the gray one. In front of the box, we can see that our model comes from All Star Hobby. It's my first ever model from them, so let's open it up. <laughs> Whoops, upside down. Too bad it's packed in plastic. I think cardboard would have been okay too, even though it might not be as cool looking as when it's clear, but it would have been better for the environment. As always, we take a closer look at the car later. Inside we get a charger with a 800 milliamp hours output, a manual, This awesome sticker sheet, but I'm not really sure whether all of those brand names are licensed. Um, I don't really think so, but I already have some stickers in mind that I wouldn't slap on it. Oh yeah, and there's a remote, which I actually think is kind of okay. It's good for one-handed steering. It is fully proportional throttle. We have steering and throttle trim, and also we have a channel 3 for the lights, and we have steering reverse and a switch for the different speeds. It takes four AA batteries, which are really difficult to get in and out. And now for the car. It is quite decent looking, I must say. The fact that the body has no body clips makes it look very scale, which I like. Also, they added some details like the mirrors. You can fold them in. The tires look pretty cool. Then you have the door handles which stick out and even the lights in the back. The tire is functional, but it is a bit smaller. Oh yeah, and also has this trailer hitch because they also offer a trailer for it, which I still have to wait for. I have ordered it, but it's not yet arrived. So this is how it looks underneath. We have lots of plastic, but also that might be a good thing because it flexes and doesn't break so quickly. It actually feels like some flexible tires are also soft and grippy i like it at this price point i don't expect much so i i'm sure we get friction dampers which can be okay to be able to see the insides you need to push here and then also on the other side and this is how it's done be careful not to nick the wiring of the lights So close to the center we have the gearing, right next to it a 370 motor. The three wire servo sits on top of the front axle. And in the middle we have the, I think it's 600 milliamp hours, 2S LiPo, no sorry it's lithium ion, and the JST plug as a connector. And everything connects to this ESC combo. The paint job has a cool metallic -y look. Oh yeah, the tires actually look like they're fake bead locks, but if you look at the back of them, you can actually see that there are some sort of bead locks. Alright, anyway, let's test this puppy. 
remote control on. Car on and let's go. The servo seems to have some power. With the channel 3 button you can turn on the light and switch to different modes and have a disco if you want to. Okay, now switch back to normal before someone gets a seizure. On the top of the remote control you can switch between three different speed modes. Most of the time I've set it to the second speed. Alright, now let's go for some crawling. I gotta say for 80 euros or about 80 dollars as well this is a pretty decent crawler you're getting a good price value for it i like the tires not a big fan of the friction dampers though but the, the looks of the car and the feel when you crawl is so great i'm very impressed i'm looking forward to try some upgrades on it and also <laughs> i'm still waiting for the trailer i will keep you posted I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give it a like and consider subscribing, thank you.